Hi everybody, um, it's Simon here from Rockfin Publication Scotland. Um, this evening we've been lucky enough to be joined by Netta Lauren from, um, from all the way from Finland tonight. Um, Netta um, sings for a band called Smackbound and um, we've got a big conversation to have this evening. Hello Netta. Hi, thanks for having me. It's, it's an great. It's an absolute pleasure. Uh, I think it's the first time uh, to, you said in Ireland, right? What's that, sorry? Is this show in Ireland, you said? No, this, um, this is, um, goes out for Rockfin publications in Scotland, but it goes out across all of the UK. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, so wow. Scotland, you're yeah. in Scotland right now. Although cool. I'm actually, I'm just actually south of the border, so I live in Cumbria. Ah, uh, okay, okay, cool. I'm down in England, but only just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, first thing we've got to talk about, how, how are you keeping? How's everything going over there? Good, everything's uh, going fine, considering the situation. So, so all good. The summer is here. It's very warm in Finland at the moment. I think we haven't had this kind of warmth uh, during this midsummer uh, for years. So... We are really hoping for the next weekend, which is the midsummer party, Johannus, here in Finland. So we're really looking forward to it because normally it's it rains and even hails or has snow coming down. Uh, but this year it, it seems so that we will have a wonderful hot wet weather. So I think it's been a bit the same in the UK. Um, since we had lockdown, the weather has been absolutely fantastic. And yeah. apart from the odd day, th this week we've had thunderstorms, so there's been thunderstorms and heavy rain. Um, but really, the days have been glorious, and it's been so warm. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's very nice. It 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 kind of cheers up the mood. Definitely. So how's how's it been affecting you over there? Is it still? Are you still in real lockdown, or is it changed a little bit? It's not a real lockdown. I think we're in the stage two, and now that. The restaurants opened in the beginning. Well, some of them opened uh, like a four, and a forty percent capacity right. in the beginning of uh, June. So mm -hmm. we're slowly going back to normal, normal uh, life or more normal. What's the new norm? I don't know. <laughs> I think everybody's but, just desperate for it to change, aren't they? Just so that they can have a little bit more freedom. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's. Right now, it's very much like normal, like if you if you think of the everyday life. Yeah. So you can get you can go out and basically what I do at home is basically go back and forth uh, from the studio to back home, and so that hasn't changed now. So. Right. Okay. And is and is that kind of what you've been doing over the last few months then? Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I have a, I have a my workroom in in Sonic Pump Studios, which is like uh, two kilometers from from my home. So oh, you're really lucky to have it so close, then, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So it's it's. Were, been... you, were you restricted over there initially then to how far you could travel, or was it um, not a problem? It was not a problem, so I could go there all the time. So mm -hmm. because basically the lockdown is with I went there. Uh, uh, we can walk. We we've always been able to walk, so the lockdown doesn't. We've been able to go out and exercise. So yeah. So I could go there because I was isolated there. So everybody everybody just stayed in their own rooms and. That's, it's kind of perfect. At least it was good for yourself, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I had the chance to keep on working and. Yeah. Uh huh. Have, have you been sort of doing anything else, anything, have you been creative in any other ways while we've been in lockdown then? Uh, other than uh, writing music, uh, yeah, I've, well, I've painted. Yeah? Uh, painted a little bit and, well, that's about it. I've read a lot of books. I've had time to do that more, yeah. I think this is what um, a lot of people have been reconnecting with a lot of the loves of their life. And obviously, we have a collective love of music, but um, there are many other um, contributing factors, aren't there? Yeah, yeah, that's true. And the um, thing, it's kind of um, re, re sort of connecting with books has been a great one for me as well. Yeah. We've had several weeks to just really 
um, make things up, if you like, and it's been pretty good in that respect. Yeah, I, th I think, uh, of course, there's a lot of uh, not so good things happening because of the COVID-19, but uh, if, if we want to state the positive things, I think it has given everyone a chance to uh, kind of stop and think and enjoy and find actually the things that we enjoy. So we remember them now. Definitely. Because we've had more time. <laughs> Hoping that um, when we move forward now, we actually keep those loves, isn't it, really? Exactly, yes. Yeah. I hope everybody learns something about this and keeps uh, the things that gives us the, the, the things that uh, gives us happiness, that we keep them close to ourselves. Definitely. So um, June the 12th was a big day for you this, um, this last week. Um, yes. your, your new album came out. Um, which is called 2020, and that's out on Frontiers. Um, mm -hmm. how, how did the launch go? I mean, obviously, we're a little bit unconventional at the moment, but... Yeah. Well, it was... It's interesting because now it's it feels kind of surreal in yeah. this... Uh, because nothing's touchable, in a way. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think the launch went well. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy with it uh, and how how... Everybody's been what what people are saying about the album and uh, the reviews and everything has been really good. So we, we are really happy about it having a having a good feedback Absolutely. straight away. I've been watching the reviews come in and it's um, it's all really really positive stuff and what as well. And it's um, it's nice to hear some of the comments touching base with what I've been thinking about it. Yeah. You know, you can hear a lot of the power metal in there, but you can also hear all the melody and everything else. And it's it's so catchy, but there's something to sort of keep everybody happy in there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Really good album. Um, but it Thank must you. be satisfying as well, because um, the band's been going in, in a form since 2015. So yeah. um, to actually finally have a physical album out now must be more than satisfying. Yeah, it was a long wait. And uh, first it was supposed to come out uh, in March. Yeah. And then it was postponed to May and then again to to June. So so even it's it was already a long wait uh, for the March release. And then we got another few uh, postponing. So that was that was something that really made the wait seem very 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 long and and uh, i got a little anxiety when we put we were postponing the second time so i was like what's going to happen with this and is, is it even coming in the summertime or or things like this you start to worry like if if this continues and june is not a good good timing and what if it comes uh, somewhere in the fall and but now I'm really happy that we got it out and now it's out in the world and it, it now it we just have to wait and see and for it to, you know, work on its own. Yes, absolutely. I mean, um, the band first came to my sort of view when I was actually looking on YouTube for some um, Ronnie James Dio stuff. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, and the video popped up of you singing Don't Talk to Strangers which absolutely blew me away. It was absolutely stunning. Um, and But as well as that performance, it sort of made me look at a lot more of the stuff that had been put out by the band, obviously on YouTube, as well as in other areas. Yeah. Um, it was a big, big number to tackle. And obviously um, anything by Dio is pretty amazing, but yeah, totally nailed it. Um, okay. Has it been a, a big factor for you guys initially that um, you got exposure through the covers that you were putting out? Um, well, uh, as in, a, uh, if, if we think uh, think of the big picture, it hasn't been such a huge coverage to us that it it really um, ma made the game in, in 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 such a way. So, for most of the people, we have been a, a new band totally. Yeah. So people are now maybe finding the the covers, uh, but yeah, the history is that uh, we. We found it, I found it smackbound and straight away wanted to tour with the guys and see how we get along. So that's why we started to do 
cover gigs basically and all of the youtube stuff is from our rehearsals yeah with that we've uh, rehearsed for the gig so so it was a win-win for us to do these covers people people get to know us a little bit but also we get to know each other because we we knew each other but we had hadn't been working in in a tour environment together so okay. we really wanted to see the dynamics and we wanted to see you know because people act differently under stress under when they, when they're tired and all these things that happen happen on tour it's not the you know it's not always so perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, so it was a very important test in, in such a way uh, for us to see that we really, really get along. And if we would, if there would, would have been a problem, there would have been a lineup change. Yeah. And, and, and that point uh, to Smackbound. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, everybody got along excellent uh, we we got along excellent and became great friends and really saw that the, the different kind of personas and dynamics actually work in this band very well together so it was a happy test <laughs> and you uh, live in different countries as well don't you so obviously mm -hmm. um it's not like you're living on each other's doorstep so when you come together it must be very creative yeah yes that's true so so uh when we founded the band we were all living in the same country but now we don't so yeah. so we don't get along too often that's why it's been it's been a little bit more difficult for us to consider doing live streams or anything that guys are have been doing sure. during during this pandemic pandemic because we're not it's not possible for us we we can't get the, together and if they if, if the guitarist is missing something is really missing from the band to do a stream uh live stream so but that's because we that's why we did like this lockdown version of of try it like you stole it and yeah and these things so everybody could do something in their own homes and and i guess it's a way of, of keeping everybody involved and allowing them to still be creative isn't it yeah 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 it's it's good to keep musicians yeah. busy <laughs> so you know like obviously the band's been around since 2015 has some of that material been sitting with you for a while before you recorded it for the album or or is most of it quite new no it's uh well there was three songs initially i wrote three songs to this band to smackbound before i asked the guys to join yeah and uh, after a year of touring, we started writing songs together. Mm -hmm. So from, I think they are from the first three years, the, all, all the songs are from the first three years. So the last two years I've been just trying to find time uh, in between Winter Sun and Stradivarius tours, finding time to go to the studio and stuff like that. Uh, but. Uh, but otherwise, it was the first first three years that we we wrote this mm -hmm. this album, and there's actually one song that is the first ever written that was one of the three songs I wrote wrote Smackbound before the guys were in the band, and that's Those Who Burn. Okay, yeah. So that's that's the that's the start. That's mm -hmm. the beginning of Smackbound. Excellent. I mean, there's, um, if people want to look out there on YouTube, if you know they're, they're interested in sort of dipping in to see if they like the material, um, there are several videos out already that accompany the singles that have come out from the 2020 album. Yeah. Um, was that important to you guys to get um, some visual aspect to the band across and, and put that material out in a video form? Yes, it, it was, given that the times have changed yeah. drastically. Uh, when it, when, it, when it comes to music business and music in general and how people find new things. And so a visual, I think the visuals are now in much more greater role than, than they were before. Yeah, I mean, it kind of reminded me in a way of, of going back to the 80s when like a, a lot of myself and my friends were really into like Def Leppard and stuff and Hysteria came along at the back end of the 80s and um, it was single after single and everything had a visual representation that, yeah. that went out across MTV, which has really become defunct now as everybody heads towards YouTube and looking at other streaming yeah. services. So 
And when I look at the band now, it's actually um, it, it's a great way of introducing people to the material so that they're familiar before they go ahead. Yeah, because because it's 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 so much harder if you if you only have the audio, yeah. because then you have a problem with how people will ever find their way to the audio. Yeah. So, so yeah. the problem is not the problem is only before people actually find your music. Mm -hmm. It's just how you can lead them there, like sure. how you can get them to listen. So, so that's why we thought that um, doing videos is a good thing. So people find us in different kind of platforms better and easier. And also, it, of course, it helps to actually see the band. Yes. So, so you get a better connection to to mm -hmm. the band and the music and then you then you can start to dive in and search for more and and go to streaming services only to listen sure i think you know i'm, I'm still very old school in the respect that i like a physical version of, of music i'm not big on um you know like spotify and all of these things I, yeah I something right in front of me and that's just kind of the way i listen to it albeit you know on cd or vinyl or whatever it might be yeah but, but YouTube's been a great thing in terms of me connecting with your music, so. Yeah, exactly, because otherwise you would have only have a chance to listen to us uh, uh, last Friday. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. For me, literally, I've just spent like 12 weeks, you know, like trolling YouTube and looking for new music and that as well. And it's like, that's possibly how it came about. So there's always yeah. something good to be taken from it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. I mean, of, of all the new songs, and um, when I've been watching the videos, the game I find is the most striking one for me. Um, in terms of the visual representation to go with the actual music, was was that quite a tough challenge to actually film that one? No, <laughs> no, it was no because I uh, it was quite clear what we were doing, and because I had I had had this idea of this. Uh, clay statues for for years yeah. i had seen a picture somewhere i don't remember where but i saw a picture of a of a person having clay and it just stuck me like like, like it looked cool and i i had this idea for years but i didn't know where where to use it like it didn't have a right place ever okay. to fit but then we decided to put the game as a single Mm -hmm. And then I straight away knew that this is this is where we're going to use it. And uh, it was actually shot. So uh, the interesting thing about the video is that my face yeah. uh, is just one shot. Mm -hmm. So it's it's one take from the mm -hmm. beginning to the end of end of the video. And uh it's all there happening in real time, so we didn't change anything. It's okay. like it comes out as as it comes in the when the when when we heard the the song. Yeah, got the you. so that kind of begs the question then that um, obviously as as the video goes on, you see more and more emotion coming from your face, and it's really really obvious because your your nostrils are flaring as you get more and more upset. So obviously all of that was for real. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. So what did what actually prompted you to cry while you were actually singing the song then? How did you manage to do that? Oh, it's easy because I I you know, I feel the songs so strongly. Yeah. Of course, I write them and I like write all the lyrics. Mm -hmm. So for me it was I I could uh, kind of lead, lean towards my personal my personal story. Yeah, in that in that song, so it was easy for me to feel it. Very very intense. I was really impressed with it. Thank you, thank you. Really good. And um, which other songs on the album are, are coming out as your favourites at the moment? Then, well, the game. <laughs> yeah. um, that's my favourite child, but you can't. It's it's hard to choose. You know, all of them are my mm -hmm. favourite, but I I do love I do love power ballads in general. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I love the game, um, specifically the game, because it's, it's a very personal song for me. And it was also one that was always almost cut off from the album. Mm -hmm. 
So when we were in demo stage, uh, the guys didn't like the song at all. Really? Yeah, and yeah. they were they all wanted to to just cut it out of the album, and I was the I I used my all my force saying that it's going to the it's going on the album, or I'm I'm not singing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. Yeah. <laughs> so so it, uh, but I, I I heard it ready. You know, the guys didn't didn't hear it. They did because they were listening to the demo, right? Oh, yeah. Which didn't have the lyrics, and but I, I kind of knew where I was taking the song. Yeah. So, so of course they didn't uh, see my vision. So I, I said that like, wait, I'll do it. I'll sing it and everything, and then you listen, and and if you still hate it, then we talk again. But, yeah. but after they they listened to the ready version, of course, raw mix, but it it had the right lyrics and right singing, and so. Uh, they all all fell in love with it. So, for that reason, also, it's a it's a special song for me because it was a fight, you know, yeah. to to keep it there. Mm -hmm. And I I truly do I I believe that it's it's one of the greatest songs, you know, it's, on the album. I mean, it's in its own right, it's pretty epic on its own. So, um, in the context of the whole album, it's a whole different thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think it, it will, for me, it's like a timeless piece. So yeah. it's just a power ballad and it, and it could be, it's not even, now it's metal, but it's it's just a ballad. It could it be is. pop if, some, if someone would do it differently. It's just a solid power ballad. We were kind of saying this in a conversation a few weeks ago that there's, you know, like there's, there's just music that you enjoy and music that you choose not to enjoy, but it doesn't have to be labeled to be to be good. No, no, it, it's just music, and it it doesn't matter what genre it is. Good music is good music, and then you can play around with, you can play around with a with the song, like make it into different genres and and style wise, yeah. you can do st things, but but the core of the song is 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 the main thing and that should be just uh, you know timeless absolutely yeah i mean you must um after having this out now you must be itching to get back and get out there on the road are you yes <laughs> yes we are but we're trying to kind of hold it back because right now we have no idea when we're we're going to be able to get to on tour and uh, and to perform live again so we just have to wait and see and we're trying to not, I'm trying to kind of let go of the need to control the situation and trying to know when because no one knows when and people are very on their toes right now to actually do any kind of big plans because I think in a few months we know more but right now everybody's like looking you know like what's going to happen so we've tried to conquer this this time uh, uh, by starting to write the second album, so mm -hmm. that's what we're doing now. So instead it's, it's of to use the time, isn't it? At least, yeah, yes. So it's it's a good time now because we have time. So we we are trying to put our focus on on writing new songs, so it doesn't take another five years for the next album to come out. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess you, um, when when everybody does get out and about again, it's going to be, um, you're going to really be in demand to, to travel and, and see various countries and, and put your music out there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's, uh, let's really hope so that it will be, you know, dynamic when we, when, when the world opens, then, then we can straight away start. Definitely. So, yeah. So will, will the UK be part of your plans when eventually we do get a chance to, to enjoy a gig again? Yes, of course. Yes. Uh, we really want to want to come there mm -hmm. to perform. And we really hope that we, well, now I can't say anything about the schedule, but yeah, yeah. we really hope to tour in, in, in Europe uh, as soon as possible. So, so that's the, I think it's going to start from Finland, Europe, and then then maybe to United States and then South America and stuff like that. Okay. But yes, the first thing is UK and uh, oh yeah, we need that. Of Europe. Yeah. We'll have to keep in touch and when that comes about, we'll have to do something all together. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah, definitely. So what are your plans for the next few months then? Because obviously we're looking to the back end of the year, if not next year for anything to happen live now. Yeah, that's true. Uh, 
Well, the plan is to, uh, to write more songs. Uh, then we're trying to find all the making of the material from the first album. So we're trying to uh, give them to people. So put put some clips uh, about the the process of making the first album okay. for everyone to see because we have a lot of footage, but uh, we haven't had time to actually uh, go through it and and make the making of or behind the scenes material available but that's the plan also to to release some of that yeah. uh, just on the social media and youtube uh, uh so that's the that's the i think that's the plan for now and let's see maybe we do some uh, some more lockdown versions of our songs and uh i don't know maybe who knows maybe if we if we want to record a lockdown version of some cover or let's mm -hmm. see what we what we come up with that way but but, but uh, personally now it's also a time for because this big midsummer is a huge thing so now i'm gonna take a few days off or a week off and just go and see friends okay the countryside so because so that's a big deal in finland as well yeah yeah it is it is so basically uh you shouldn't ever travel to Finland as a tourist during midsummer <laughs> because uh, because all the cities are just there's no one there. Right. Everybody we, disappears to the countryside. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's that's how the Finns do it. So there's no one like it's uh, Helsinki is a ghost town <laughs> during, during and everybody's everything's closed and and we've we've been thinking like many years like we feel bad if the tourists don't know that it's a midsummer weekend right because they don't know what happened and <laughs> nothing's open so it's right. a different kind of <laughs> a different kind of weekend then in finland but yeah and for now and now especially it's it's very it's great to get to the to the countryside because we haven't been able to see our friends for so long so now finally we are we are brave enough to see each other again and and that's 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 a really nice thing to see our friends the timing is pretty good then really considering if if we're heading towards midsummer it'll be an even bigger celebration yes yes definitely mm -hmm. so it, it is it is it is it is a good timing for that and we're happy that that we are given this opportunity and the and the weather is nice and everything's everything's cool despite the fact that we lost our jobs and you know a lot of these so but because of that because that can't be changed mm. we just have to really focus on what we can do in this time and what we can enjoy and and like we said, it's it's good to find yourself again. Like, what what do you like to do? If you like to paint, or if you like to read, or Definitely. really these simple things in life that are the core to the happiness. For sure, I think and to reset's not a bad thing. And at the end of the day, it's kind of it without any kind of optimism, we can't look to the future anyway. So we've got to look at it in that respect. Yes, yeah, because we we even though we want to, we're unable to control everything, and most of the things. We can't control, so oh. so we really just need to focus on the things that we can have for uh, sure. some word on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for taking your time this evening. I know it's a little bit later out there in Finland, so you're probably going to be having an evening meal now and then, you know, thinking yes. about the night. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm going to see a movie tonight. Yeah, or we are going to. Yeah, my family. So. Is this just at home, or are you going out? We're staying home. Right. Uh, we're staying home tonight and tomorrow morning we're gonna leave to the countryside so ah lovely yeah <laughs> we're, we're, we're lucky tonight i'm feeling grateful because we've got football back on the tv tonight oh cool well, in a couple of hours i'll be watching a match so that's like old times yeah has it started now or when when did uh, they start uh, officially this evening are the first games first and game oh, there, well. there are games right through until towards the end of july just to get the rest of the season done yeah okay cool so it's a historic moment for you also it it's a big yeah. deal i'm not my team's not on tonight and i'm still feeling emotional about it yeah yeah exactly this is this is how you really understand what what you what you are missing in life and what you really but uh, yeah what, what you really 
respect like for sure well. football yes <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you very much then now um wishing you all the very best for the rest of this lockdown time hope everything yeah. goes well enjoy your midsummer have a great celebration um when you do eventually get round to touring plans and um, we'll try and hook up in the uk do something again but it'd be really good to speak to you again if that's good yes definitely thank you simon thank you very much and all the very best for the future yeah for you too thank, thank you, you very much bye now. bye bye bye, -bye.